the Viking flagship maiden chase is next. And a small field for this two and a half miles this time. And the top one is Luxor, Darren Thompson, media agency, Paul Rhodes, Swiss Gris, Stu Gray, The Overlord, Joshua Sutherland, Hayne Byrne, Martin Leland, Attracted Branch, James Shea, Gold Coast, Craig Beckwith, Jamie Lee Curtis, Jim Murray, Lily of the Valley, Obi-Wan, Outcry, David Robertson, Ozark, Zetkin, Vinnie Gerard, Verglas, or Alex Cherry, and a Victorian Elfall for Thomas Rogers. So, field of 13. Away they go in the more usual weather for SO7 National Hunt Racing. The rain coming down as they make their way towards the first. They go past the winning post. They've got two circuits of the track to go. And Lily of the Valley is the early leader. And this long run to the first with Verglas and Jamie Lee Curtis sharing second. Two, a little bit wide on the track there. The green jacketed Ozark Zipkin, the one that's the widest of all. There's still plenty of time to go. Uh, continue this long one to the first of 14 fences that they've got to negotiate in this early season chase as they get over the first. And we'll safely over it with Lily of the Valley in the lead. I think Lily of the Valley, Obi Wan might be the sole American trader this season. Gold Coast in second. As they get over the second, and that's the first ditch. And they're all safely over that one. Then Lily of the Valley clearing front from Gold Coast second. And then Verglas third as they get to fence number three. Mistake there by Outcry, as the back marker is now out of shot. But it was pretty untidy at that one. Lily of the Valley. Got this ditch. All over that one well, although Swiss Gris. Was a little bit slow and you couldn't see how cross and take on trust that he got over it okay. But it's Lily of the Valley in the lead as they swing right handed from Gold Coast in second. Then Media Agency is third on the inside, Achane Byrne in the maroon with a yellow cap. Then comes Attracted Branch, Jamie Lee Curtis is tucked in the middle of the pack quite nicely. Then Victoria Elfall and Ozark Zetkin wide on the track after that. Looks all on the Overlord are next as they take number five. And they're all Still on their feet as they get to number six. Oh, they're not anymore. Attracted branches gone. And it seems that whenever I mention they're jumping okay, one of them tends to fall. So I'll try and not do that as they get to number seven. It's the midway point in the jump. And again, Outcry was down on his nose. And that one's going to have to get his act together if he's going to be playing any part in the finish. And they're coming up past the standing in there now. And they'll swing out right handed for one more circuit of the track. And Lily of the Valley continues to lead from Jamie Lee Curtis is moved through into second then Gold Coast is third Ozark Zekin on the outside is four and then Media Agency is five the Overlord is six and Nakane Burn is seven and then Victoria and Elfram Verglas and Luxor and then Swiss Gris and Outcry just a little bit detach those two with the loose horse in front of them but it's Lily of the Valley trying to make every post a winning one the Overlord is creeping closer. Lily of the Valley jumped that much better though. In second place, Gold Coast also jumped it well. Jamie Lee Curtis is going well as well. The Overlord is still there. Then Ozark Zetkin, Media Agency, Hakane Byrne trying to get into it. Verglass is also creeping into it now. It's a wide open race this one as they come down towards the next. That's another ditch. And over that one, the guys are falling at the back there. Outcry's gone this time. He's made a few mistakes. That time he didn't get away with it. And Lily of the Valley is in the lead. At the next one, the Overlord who jumped it better. Hakane Byrne has gone into third. Then comes Gold Coast in fourth. Verglass is fifth. Then Jamie Lee Curtis and Media Agency and then Ozark Zetkin, Luxor's trying to run on, Victorian Elfer and Swiss Chris make up the field as they take the 11th, and over that one it's the Overlord, who's too clear now of Lily of the Valley, who's being scrubbed along in second, Akane Burn is third then Jamie Lee Curtis and Gold Coast Verglas still looks to be going well also come round the outside, Luxor's trying to get into it with um, Media Agency trying to chase that one, but it's the Overlord racing down towards the final couple of fences in now, the Overlord is in the lead from Akane Burn, who's a good three lengths down in second, over to third, last they go and the Overlord's in the lead from Verglas, who's gone second, Akane Burn's hit the wall, Ozark Zetkin's in third over the second, last they go, and now the Overlord is being challenged again. Verglas and Ozark Zetkin only a couple of lengths down. It's the Overlord in the lead coming out almost the final fence then. Over it he goes, jumps it well, gets away from it well. Joshua Sutherland is going to get himself onto.
to the board for the first time this season, all racing up towards the line then. It's the Overlord that's going to take it. Verglas is second, Luxor and Gold Coast, third, but up the line, the Overlord takes it. Second with Verglas, then Luxor and Gold Coast, Chamonix, Curtis, Akain, Bern, Ozark, Zekin and Media Agency, and all the way back to Swiss Gris. And the big guns are firing early already this season then. As the Overlord takes it for Joshua Sutherland, Verglas for Alex Cherry was second, looks all for Darren Thompson third, Gold Coast for Craig Beckwith was fourth, and Ozark Zetkin for Vinnie Gerrard was fifth. <laughs> 